summer droughts, limited resources. Only the most resilient cattle make it through these harsh challenges. Roy Lee Criswell of Pep, New Mexico, trusts Hereford Cross cattle to do it best. These Hereford bulls on these black cows getting that F1 cross is putting more feed efficiency along with more hybrid vigor into these calves. You know, longevity of these bulls is their feet. So they don't break down. Coming out here to this desert country, they've got to have good feet to be able to travel. Getting on top of these cows and coming off on these rocks, we need them bulls to keep going. We want them not to have to have a lot of feed put in them to get them to breed back. In the Southwest, where rainfall is scarce and feed costs are climbing, ranchers and feeders prefer calves that gain weight more efficiently, like Chris Wells F1 cross cattle. But at the end of the day, the yield grades are probably a lot higher, which is more beneficial to our pocket at the yard and more beneficial to the feeding operation of the yard. When you get higher yields and better quality carcasses, you're gonna get dividends. Man, here we are seven months later and they're weighing 1,350, 1,400 pounds. I said, that, that is what's fun, is when you get to literally drive by their pens every morning and get to see the growth in them. Black baldy cows consume two pounds less of voluntary forage intake per day than straight bred black cows. That's according to an Oklahoma State University study that shows a $50 savings per cow per year. They're the easiest to work, they're the easiest to get on feed, and they're probably some of the best converting cattle that we get to handle here. And if you can keep cattle calm and laying down, especially times like right now where it's 101, man, they're just going to always continue to convert the feed and gain, and man, it's, it, it pays in the back end. Reporting for the American Hereford Association, I'm Bob Cervera.